Hello everyone. So this is the part two of the tutorial. Uh, in this part, I will explain the top menu. Uh, so uh, I will start with the, the preferences. Uh, so <laughs> some of them doesn't need to be uh, explained. Something like file new save open the file here it's to show you uh, save project save as a new project new project it's very basic and uh, the new one actually uh, to if for example yeah it's a new one yes that's it make a new shape for me and recent project will give you a list of all projects that I did was for example the Yoda one remember this video <laughs> yeah it's so funny you know <laughs> anyway and uh, this is to export you can export it as OP OBJ or STL format um, maybe we can talk about those later on anyway new one and the import you can import actually uh, a second project to the same project for example if I choose the Yoda select file so it will import it to the same one as you can see here there is a sphere and mm, oh, show you so oh come on Yoda just move see this is my main sphere and it's some kind of import everything else Uh, yeah, go away. And you too also. See you later. So it's technically import the shape to the, uh, the the main one. Okay, the the for the new file. Okay, here we go. So and. Uh, I will talk about the export and the import later on maybe and connect my uh, phone to the computer try to explain more about this the preferences okay so here if you want to start the empty without anything without the sphere that you see when it is making new file and uh, show recent project as start it's very basic and do history how many histories uh, you want so technically the end do history it's everything here see the underline under the undo there is like uh, some kind of uh, bars cutting bars this is the undo so uh, every time I create anything you will see a new bar so this is the the undo steps so S Pen supported if you want to use the stylus yeah, for me yes because I'm using the uh, note phone it's come with the uh, stylus and uh, the orientation landscape how you want to look at your app uh, so for me it's landscape and right uh, uh, block touch button so I don't want it to be touch to have a touch it doesn't work anyway and here if you want to change the background uh, so if you want to make it a gradient background you can choose colors as you can see here 
you can choose whatever you want colors for the background or a solid color or a custom image here you can choose an image if you want like a specific image and to browse on your phone or your template so technically you should go back using the arrow and try to find the png or jpeg it's supported here you see here select file png or jpeg or jpg it's only three format uh, supported so for me i will keep it like this the color of the background and i will keep it as it is okay the brush color the brush color is when you uh, okay when you resize see here I'm, I'm seeing white in the middle see if I change it to a square see it's a white square now so this is the color of this square how I want it to be or if I want to see the brush or I want to delete it some people I don't know for me I, I prefer to be just like that and uh, alpha path this is for render where you want to render the when the render has finished where do you want it to be and this is for the watermark a watermark on save render if you want to add the watermark uh, i guess this is a watermark for the the sculpt uh, plus application if you wanted to put a watermark for you i don't think so anyway uh, the minimum one the, the layers or the objects so here on the plus after clicking of course on this icon here we will see our sphere we can like uh, uh, hide it or if we click on those dots here we can see the uh, duplicate focus on this object so what does it mean focus on this object so if I zoom out see if I mount like this and then I click on focus to this object will put this object in the middle of the screen or the or, or the view or duplicated will create a new one for me or um, rename it so I can rename it to anything I want or delete it okay the plus one here is to create a new shape the new shape uh, will be like this if you want you can choose one of those four shapes or you can choose the head here uh, for, mo for the moment I will uh, try to choose the uh, cube okay and uh, as a default this will be like uh, turning off okay so i will turn it on to show you uh what what it is doing actually here so okay to create an object so actually i should see like click and drag so it will build some kind of objects for me continuously see till i click done and see here all those cubes are being created So, I don't want 
uh, for me I don't prefer this one actually or uh, drag on object or continuous I really don't want it in this way I just prefer to when I click a new object will be created for me okay all right sorry this uh, video become much longer than I expect anyway this is the position of the object so if you put like I wanted five for example so this will move like a will snap five uh, pixels and for example here five and here five so now when I try to move the object it will like snap jump five pixels or five squares five squares okay or if I want to scale it, see it will jump, snap, bam. Or if I want to rotate it also, the same. It's like lagging. Okay. Uh, okay, whatever. Or the, the view one actually the view and the rest are long <laughs> a menu so uh, I will create a new video for this to explain more about them thank you so much for your watching and see you in the next one take care